Hi there, I have another song for you. And this time, I want to show you how I actually build the song, what my process looks like, and how I use different layers and different instrumentation to kind of give it that full sound. And in this song, to kind of build the scene, this is a chase scene for flickering, and it's supposed to kind of have this mounting tension with a little bit of this um, extended respite in the middle where it's kind of it kind of pulls back and it even changes time signature and it almost feels like a different song and then it kind of dives right back into that main chase theme so it's a fun song to show um, piece by piece because it does just add layer by layer and it follows a lot of the techniques I use when I write a song so this is a good example it started with this really simple bottom hand rhythm You can see the camera shaking. Because I'm rocking out. Woo! Uh, so that's the bottom hand rhythm. But what I did was I added kind of a major um, major chord, major harmony up here at the top uh, for just this one little bit. And then I changed it back to a minor. like that. But that isn't quite a song yet, is it? So what I like to do is I kind of have that melody in mind, but I want to start playing it and recording it right away so that I don't forget. But you do need a good beat to play to. So I just start with this basic, since it's kind of a pulsing song anyway, I use a lot of kick drum here. Just like that. And I just play that and then I loop it and go back to my piano and I play the whole thing over again. And I just do take after take as I'm kind of writing the song, but also learning how to play it. Then I quantitize everything, which is a fancy word for just making all of the notes line up on the beat. So it sounds like you played it perfectly <laughs> on rhythm, and it just makes it sound so much more professional. I will start layering in other instruments. Really easy one is just to copy whatever you have recorded for the piano over to a pizzicato. It's a stringed version of any orchestral instrument. So in this case, I have a viola pizzicato. Like that. But it's playing exactly what I played on the piano, just an octave higher. I also did the string legato. So it's a string section. Legato just means that it's playing kind of a constant. So... like that. Pizzicato, again, it's just a pluck. And staccato with the cello here is just a one shunk. See, and this is a good example of how a song gets made, is that I, I hit the wrong chord right there trying to play it live. And that's kind of a cool chord. So I could make a whole new song with that. Right there. Live live uh, songwriting and then I'll just end up layering in these different instruments and that might give me an idea for a different outro or a different bridge somewhere but usually it's basically the same song it just has a lot more oomph to it now please sit back and enjoy listen to all the layers that come in this song kind of builds so you can hear one or two layers at a time and then a couple more layers get added in and that's what makes it fun to write and that's what makes it fun to listen to the hunter from flickering enjoy 